हेलो एंड नमस्ते एवरीवन दिस इज मिस श्रुति राना मगर वेलकम टू फिफ्थ वीडियो ऑफ वेब डेवलपमेंट सीरीज दिस ट्यूटोरियल इज एन इंट्रोडक्शन टू मोस्ट कॉमन एस टी एम एल टैक्स वेल एस टी एम एल इज वेरी सिंपल मार्क ऑफ लैंग्वेज इवन दो देर आर ऑलमोस्ट हंड्रेड्स ऑफ टैग इन एस टी एम एल फाइव यू यूजली इंड ऑफ यूजिंग हैंडफुल ऑफ टैक्स नाइन्टी नाइन पर्सन ऑफ द टाइम सो आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू मोस्ट कॉमन टैक्स in html that you need to mark up almost all content and anything else when you think of creating a web page so here is a list of some of the most common html tags and if you have watched previous videos you already know how to use uh, heading and paragraph tags so i'm going to teach you rest of the html tags that you need and don't worry even though it looks like a lot of new things to learn they all are easy to remember and they all work in the same way okay now let's start with something very common uh, creating italic and bold words for that let's set up our sublime text editor and a browser let's wrap a word with i tag uh, that stands for italy come to our server you can see it have became a italy or you can use em tag also Let's wrap another word with em tag, and check to our server. Save it and refresh to our server. You can see both i tag and em tag is used to make a word or used to make a paragraph italy. Now let's uh, do a bold wrap a word with b tag that stands for bold. You can see. the word have became a bold now you can do the same thing with with another tag that is strong let's wrap another word with strong tag you can see it have work it same as the bold b tag links are one of the most important part of any web pages you have probably visited thousands and thousands of links as you have browsed the internet links are easier to create than you think we can create links hyperlinks or anchor by using html anchor tag let's add a line to our index.html even though we added anchor tag around the word go to google we did not actually tell our link where to go so the link in our example will do nothing don't worry we fix that by adding a little bit more information to our anchor tag we can customize html tag and provide them with more information by using attribute to make our link to google work we need to add an attribute with the address of web page we want our link to go to save your file and refresh your web browser you should see a link to google at the bottom of the page and go ahead and click it it will take you to google.com and you can wrap any words in your web page in anchor tag and create a link you can make links to any web page on the internet you can add as many as link you want experiment and have fun you are well on your way to become an expert at working with html links now we are going to learn to create list there are two type of list on order list and order list on order list is like bulleting you can see the example apple banana orange grapes and order list is like numbering you can see 1 2 3 4 5 math science population health social let's have a look at example ul tag this is for on order list and we use li tag to wrap the name of the elements and uh, that stands for list of item let's copy this and paste it now edit and save and refresh the browser you got this bulleting apple banana orange pears nicely now let's do the same with ol tag that stands for order list and same thing goes with this li that stands for list of item and let's write the list of item that we have created in our example math science population 
Now save and refresh the web browser. You got the numbering, math, science, population, social health. And you got bulletin and numbering. So you can use according to your preference whether you want bulletin or numbering. The HTML HR tag is a way to create a break in your web page content and draw a line across the page content. Unlike the other tags we have learned, the horizontal rule tag doesn't have an opening and closing tag and does not wrap around content. Uh, so this is called self-closing tag. Horizontal rule are a great way to divide a web page. Let's have a look at example. Save it and refresh your browser. You got the uh, line that divides the web page. You can see. Just like an anchor tag for creating links, the HTML IMG tag needs an attribute to tell it what image to show on your web browser. This part of the image tag, the attribute says that this image tag has a source SRC of the image img.jpg. So we need a jpg image named by img.jpg in the same folder where we have index.html paste it and rename it to img.jpg now write src equals to img.jpg and come to the server side refresh you can see the image has been successfully published to our browser and one more thing that you need to consider is uh, the image and the index.html should be in same folder. Now let's talk about the division tag. Uh, in a lot of ways it's just like a paragraph tag. The difference with this html div tag is that it is not just for a specific type of content. This tag is for creating a structure in your web page. You can think of it like a container or a building block div is short form for division and that is exactly what this tag is for this is for dividing your web page content into container you have probably seen a lot of websites with boxes of content on the screen this is a very common style of web design this is what the div tag is for creating um, section or blocks of content they are the building blocks of the web you can put any type of content in a div tag, even other HTML tag. Okay, this much for today's video. If you enjoy my video or learn something new, do subscribe to my YouTube channel Code Wish with and also subscribe Code and Coin. I'll see you in the next video.